Seafood from the Northeast region of the United States is prized around the world for its unmatched freshness and flavor. The seafood coming out of the Northeast is probably the freshest in the world. This is kind of what I was born to do. I've been in this business my whole life. Our Northeast New England corridor must have the right temperature mix, a nutrient mix. There's nothing better than the species that we get up this way. I think there's something for anyone, any fan of, of seafood in any way, shape, or form. We've got it all here. The region's fisheries are sustainably managed through a distinctive science and industry partnership that incorporates transparency and traceability. Sustainability is the key, and sustainability ensures that consistent supply of product. We have a number of different scientists and stock assessment biologists that work constantly around the clock, further assessing our resources here. And as the fishermen harvest our resource, we have dynamic quota management. The success is built on, on basically the three pillars. There's scientific knowledge, which is a combination of federal government surveys and also a lot of collaborative research with the fishing industry. Then that information is taken by the New England Fisheries Management Council and the uh, federal government. By law in the United States, all our fisheries have to be managed just sustainably. So you have that level of security that you're harvesting it sustainably and, and responsibly. People can be confident that they're getting a high quality product, that they're not damaging the environment, and that the product is, is sustainable and so they can depend on it in the future. The variety of seafood produced here is handled and processed with care to ensure reliability and quality. Food Export Northeast plays a crucial role in helping the American seafood industry raise awareness and demand for its products in foreign markets. This video showcases some of the people, places, products, and organizations that make the export of high quality, safe, and sustainable seafood from the Northeast region of the United States possible. way of life, what we do is we are providing people across the world with what we think is the best wild-caught protein available. And we need to find ways to be able to help the fishermen to find new markets every single day. If you're a seafood business, you can sell anywhere in the world. But where should you sell your product? And what are the best ways to access those markets? With resources from Food Export Northeast, it's possible for seafood businesses to get a sense of which foreign markets offer the best potential. Food Export Northeast has been uh, very helpful in, in uh, the establishment of trade routes uh, in various countries around the world, which we've taken full advantage of, not only as, a, as our company, but as the industry uh, has proven out. Sea Trade or the scallop industry has done our job uh, to know our resource inside out and we have a lot of knowledge about it. When we go into a foreign market, food experts already laid the groundwork and they've already researched the market and they're putting us in touch with buyers on a one-to-one -one basis so that we can have those further conversations to really gear our, our goods for their market and give them the best chance of success and also give us the best chance of success to penetrate the market and maximize return for everyone. International business is based on customer relations. So having the opportunity for a buyer from anywhere around the world to meet an oyster farmer and understand his commitment to sustainability and food safety, understand the attributes of his product that make it so unique is strong platform, a foundation for business moving forward. Food Export Fire's mission are really beneficial to the industry. And anytime you can expose yourself and your brand and your products to a, a larger marketplace, it, it ultimately helps the whole of what we do. Foreign markets are really important for the port, for the processors, for the dealers here in Rhode Island because it gives them another outlet to sell their fish in a sustainable way that the market can absorb. So as the market grows, the fishermen then can further grow in, in their business as well. 
New Bedford is the world's greatest scallop port. We bring more Atlantic scallops uh, in than anywhere else, and it's the most profitable fisher in the United States. It's just a beauty. It's the right size, the right coloration, the right flavor profile, and then you've got a, uh, you know, probably properly priced and, and, uh, and consistently available. We have a cultural commitment to delivering excellence. Uh, our fishermen know what they're doing out the sea, and they, they fish in you know, what has long been some of the richest fishing grounds uh, in the world. We're really catching the most mature and largest scallops that the world has to offer. We catch it, we clean it, we freeze it, we pack it, we package it, we brand it, and we distribute it. So when you're the, in totality, the beginning and the end of the process, from when we get it to it goes to our customers, ultimately we have an ownership, a sense of ownership, and in a sense of pride in what we do, that we want to ensure that it's exactly what the customer needs exactly when they need it. The primary species that we work with here in southern New England, uh, squid is really the biggest one what we call the Lolligo species and the Elix species. The taste and quality of the fish that come from the marine environment here are recognized as with clean tasting, healthy products. And this facility, on top of all that, is a facility that undergoes what's called a Global Food Safety Initiative audit. And that makes us account to a very high level of food safety standard. And Almost all the customers that we have ask for that certification or a similar certification. That's something else that helps them feel comfortable that they're buying a, a clean product. That squid is the best squid. It's the most tender squid. It it's, has the best uh, natural flavor profile. And we're just so lucky that that's here and that's our number one product. Commercial fishermen enjoy a, a steady market supply here in Rhode Island, but it's also supported by processors. For example, the Jonah Crab Fishery has local processors opening up here in Rhode Island. More Foods is a Jonah Crab processor. We're the only Jonah Crab processor in Rhode Island that's specifically focusing on Jonah Crab. Jonah Crab is an adaptable product. It can be in shell, it can be meat extraction. We have triple scored claws, there are cocktail claws, there's empress claws. Meat, it's all leg meat. There's a body meat that can be used as an ingredient for further processing. We can produce whole cooked crabs as well, frozen and fresh. The Jonah crab taste is nice and it's a sweet crab. It's got a good mouth feel, it's a little salty, so it's got a really great seafood, um, nice flavor to it, sweet sweet meat. What we have is one of the most amazing places in the world. And what it does is create this nutrient-rich environment that produces lobsters. They're slow-growing, Homeris americanus, cold water. And what it does, it has a, a really briny, crisp flavor to it of a cold water lobster that you won't find anywhere else in the world. With Maine Lobster and our guests overseas, I think that one of the biggest compliments that we could give Maine Lobster is we don't adulter the product at all. We try to just let the lobster be the star of the show. And if you're sourcing the product correctly, handling it correctly, cooking it correctly, then the lobster is really going to speak for itself. It really produces a real sweet product and it's been a huge hit. We have been collaborating with local universities to improve our understanding of our resource. So much of coastal Maine is reliant on the lobster fishery, so we feel that it's really important to do our part to help to improve our understanding of what's going on below the ocean surface. We work hand in hand with the fishermen to develop laws and regulations to ensure that this stock is resilient and can be managed for future generations. We believe in the future. When you have something so special, I think we should all be contributing to finding ways to further protect ourselves to make sure that those lobsters, those crabs, everything will be on the bottom for that next generation. There's a lot of uh, industry participation in the management. We've determined that there are ways for us to collaborate with our fishermen to get good, solid data, meaningful data from our fishermen uh, and turn that into good, solid science. We've made that kind of a hallmark of our program. We realize that the future of the scalp industry is really in all of our hands. We're looking forward to stewarding the, this fishery into, into the future for certain, not just for ourselves, but for future generations of people just like ourselves. The United States sea scallop 
is abundant, it's certified, it's monitored continuously, it's a totally secure purchase with a, a great history, a great story, and we urge you all to give it a try. This is a real success story. The efforts the fishing industry here in New Bedford have done have rebuilt this resource. It's gone beyond what we initially thought was the optimal yield. It is sustainable. I think it's rejuvenated the resource and it's a great solid product that should be very reliable in the future. I've never done anything else and chances are I won't be doing anything else. It's really rewarding. You know, you work hard for what you make and that, that's rewarding. And of course with Food Export's help we've been very successful in doing it. Food Export does play a critical role in terms of identifying export markets. In fact, I think the primary role. We always work with Food Export and they use their savvy and their connections to figure out what markets should be explored, uh, what markets aren't worth exploring. Our job is to get the product onshore and have a sustainable fisheries and then we do the handoff to them to figure out how we tap into those markets overseas. We're well situated with Northeast seafood today and for the years ahead, considering the management, focusing on sustainability of the fisheries, considering the commitment of the individual growers and business owners to their products, and the diversity and quality and innovation within the industry sector. Seafood from America's Northeast is among the freshest, most delicious, safe and sustainable foods in the world. To learn more about the fisheries in the region, contact Food Export Northeast, a trade association promoting the export of Northeast U.S. seafood to markets around the world.